Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I recently bought myself a Phono preamp since the main one in my hi-fi has been busted. So I'm just using this to get by at the moment. However, I thought in the meantime, let me try and construct a case to hide the little unit in and just to make it a little bit more prettier with its own power supply and everything contained within it. For the project, I'm mainly going to use Kiart wood and for the front face, I'm going to use uh, partridge wood because of its unique uh, texture and features, as you can see in the picture. For this part, I'm going to rip resaw it to make it into two pieces and then just prepare every piece before we're going to make dovetail pieces out of it. After the pieces have been flattened and shaped to the correct size, it's time to cut all the dovetails out of them. With the dovetails completed, it's time to transfer them to the partridge wood. I'm going to make half blind dovetails so that you can't see it from the front. After clearing out the waste, I will do a dry fit just to see if everything is A-OK -okay before doing a final glue up. I'm adding some grooves to the front and to the sides to fit in the base of the box. This is where all the equipment will rest on, the power supply as well as the phono preamp. Here I'm clamping two pieces of Maranti together to form the base. 
after it's been glued up it will be sized so it can fit into the slots. While I'm waiting for the baseboard to get dry I'm basically adding holes here to the front to the partridge wood. Uh, one will be for the on and off switch and another one I will also add for an LED to indicate that there is actually power to the unit or from the power supply. I also decided I wanted to add some inlays to the front of the partridge wood just to give it a little bit more flair. And here is the front piece done. As you can see we have two holes, one for the power button, one that will be for the LED and our two inlays with some bit of extra rabbiting on the sides. For the back piece I'm also adding uh, places so that you can add to the power supply for the cable as well as the audio cables for the inputs and the outputs at the end of the day. Finally it's time to glue up the whole unit. I'm adding this crossbar basically for the lid that I'm going to add to the top of the unit. This will just ensure that the lid has a nice place in the front to stay put when I'm screwing it down. After the frame has been dried it's time to add the bottom of the case. After this I will then coat the whole unit in some linseed oil. It's time to add all the components. For the audio inputs and outputs I need to solder uh, the wires that will go to the phono preamp as well as the ground wire. With all the front and back components added, it's now time to add all the components that will go inside the box. As you can see there, I have the power supply already installed, uh, bolted down, and now it's just basically to install the phono preamp. After that, it's basically a simple case of hooking up all the wires that need to go to each one.
This is the top lid of the case with some air holes also drilled in for airflow. So otherwise the components will most probably overheat if one does not do that. I've also drilled holes into the bottom of the panel so you will most likely have a natural air current going through. Lastly, just adding some rubber feet to absorb some vibrations and to help lift the unit for airflow at the end of the day. One last thing to do is test out the unit with the hi-fi and the record player. Here I'm just hooking up all the things that needs to be hooked up, power supply, ground wire from the record player and then of course the audio inputs and then the audio outputs. Well, it's working as intended. Unfortunately, I can't play any music over YouTube, otherwise I'll get copyright striked. But thanks very much for watching, and yes, I'll see you next time in the next video. Cheers!